Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. I am Collecting Madness. There's always madness in love and we love collecting. Hey guys, so today we are back with another Star Wars unboxing. I figured Hot Toys isn't throwing anything I like my way, so why not go ahead and do my own? And they also skimped out on the 40th, so why not do something from the 40th Return of the Jedi Emperor Palpatine? It is none other than Papa Palps, the Dark Lord of the Sith, the Emperor. Let's dive in. Guys, before we fully dive in, I do want to say please hit the like button. Please subscribe if you haven't already. We are so close to that 750 goal, so if you want to join in all the collecting madness right here on the channel please consider doing so i can't wait to see what's in store for the channel and i love chatting with you all in the comments but moving on first things first you will probably notice this box is a little bit worn than some of the other ones like if it was brand new that's because this came from my brother he was generous enough to sell it to me for a very very good deal and considering the 40th didn't give me another one with the throne i had to settle for this version for now that's if they don't do one but I had to have the Emperor in the collection I mean who else would Vader stand next to besides his son Luke so starting off with the box like we always do you will see it is a standard Hot Toys Star Wars box this came out before they did the cigar wrap so there is none of that on this box uh, on the side, it's the shoebox style. You can see a little bit of a tear there. My brother also got this used, so I should mention that. But his link will be down in the description below if I didn't mention that already. And then on the back, the movie, ma the movie masterpiece logo, all the legal stuff, and it's pretty basic from there. When we lift off the top, you can see that beautiful, beautiful art insert that we all love every single time we open a Hot Toys. You even got a background of Vader there. Um, surprisingly, this came out before they announced that 40th Return of the Jedi Vader. So it had been a long time and everybody was hoping for this. Um, well, we finally got it. And there he has some Sith Lightning there. And then there is Palpatine himself in the clamshell. So like we always do, we're going to get everything out, take a look at what he comes with, and then look at the figure afterwards. So as it turns out, in order to become ruler of the Sith and the entire galaxy, you actually don't need all that much. Uh, starting off here, you do get his black cane. It is a very, very shiny, reflective, glossy uh, black plastic. Uh, I don't think there's much weathering here. Uh, it's just very simple, very sculpted, very nice, authentic to the film itself. Of course, this wouldn't be proper without him having lightning coming out of his hands. Uh, it is translucent plastic. Uh, it's got a purple effect and kind of gets lighter as it goes up. Uh, and they do go on separate hands and they also go in different ways. They are not posable. They are sculpted plastic. So please don't try to bend them other ways as you will break them. And speaking of those hands that the lightning comes out of, you do get two hands here. They are very, very nice. They're very veiny, very wrinkly. Uh, they have some grime and dirt in the fingernails, uh, some wash like they've been charred, some more wrinkles on the inner palm, and uh, they just do really, really good things with older people sculpts in general, not only head sculpts, but hands as well. And then here's some more gesturing like pointing hands, uh, hands to hold his cane, uh, and uh, for some reason... They are for the same side. So one's definitely pointing, one's definitely a cane hand. So we will check those out later on the figure. And then the final thing, of course, you get two options to display the standard style. Although I don't like that it was two grays. I wish it was kind of more of maybe a darker flooring from the Death Star. Um, this probably could come from his chambers at the end of the film. I know Luke has this, but they could have done a little bit more with this. It is textured. This one is just flat plastic with the textures like actually engraved there. And then, of course, 
the gorgeous metallic Star Wars Emperor Palpatine nameplate that I absolutely love on Star Wars bases. And here we have the Senate himself. I'm just kidding, guys. Um, overall thoughts and first impressions, I think this sculpt is absolutely gorgeous. As I said, they do a very, very, very good job of doing sculpts of old people, even though, fun fact, uh, he wasn't this old in the film. He was actually young and went backwards to Revenge of the Sith in age. So it's just all the makeup that makes him look that way. But you do get the hair if you push this back, which you don't really see in the film. I always thought he was bald until uh, you got this figure and then realized that it's just slick back like he's some mafia gangster or something. But enough about that. Let, let's get more into the teeth. This is... Uh, one of Hot Toys better sculpts as far as a smiling grinning goes. I feel like they do that a lot better with villains than they do with heroes. Uh, they look nasty, charred, chipped, bla like placky, whatever you name it. Just very, very evil looking. You do get the Sith eyes as well. If you get up in there, there's some dark shadowing, wrinkles. Uh, there's that yellowing, like I said, and even a bit of red in there to really bring that Sith look to life as he should for being the ruler of the galaxy at this point in time. And then as far as the tailoring goes, guys, it's amazing. It's Hot Toys style. There is a wire in the bottom here. Uh, it is mixed media, but mixed media of fabric. So there is no pleather here. Um, here's the hands that uh, are on the figure. They're just some open palm looking hands. Uh, you got some suede cloth material. This feels like the robes that Jedi's come with. And this is a different kind of material. Um, almost like Kylo Ren feel if you have that. And you got like the, what's it called? Jumper, uh, jumper jacket kind of feel. Like, uh, like a windbreaker or something. Uh, the pants, just normal fabric stretch, so posing is not a problem. And then you got these. These are interesting. This is the first time I've had a boot like this, at least in my collection. It's more of a suede feel. I don't know how the material will hold up over time, but so far the material here has held up. So I think it's doing a very good job, and I think it will last even longer being in my collection. Now let's see what he can do as far as posability. There is still the plastic on there. My brother never took it off. I will take it off, however, later on after this video. Uh, just thought I'd point that out. Um, yeah, you do get good articulation left and right, posing up and down for his head. His arms can go out basically all the way. It feels like there is a fat suit in here, so it is a little hindered going up. I think it runs into the fat suit double bend on the elbow your standard ball peg wrist peg uh not much crunch actually it's there but uh swivel pivot uh there is a swivel at the arm there oh looks like this comes undone so i'll have to clip that back uh goes up 90 at the knee and uh, you get some good articulation because that boot is fabric, so it just bends right in. I really like that. So if you want this guy going right over the balcony, you can do that. If you want him flying, shooting lightning, you can do that. So I'm really digging this figure. Just wrapping up on Emperor Palpatine from The Return of the Jedi. Guys, I, for him not coming with a lot... I'm pretty impressed with this figure. I, I think it's mainly because of the fabric and how poseable it is. I love the tailoring of it. You can hide the wrist peg with the sleeves. The sleeves have wires in it for posability itself, as well as the bottom of the robes here. That sculpt is just on point, and I love the cynical smile. It's super sinister, and it just takes me right back into that film, which I always love. But, uh, like I said, if you guys are new here and if you enjoyed this video and if you would like to see more on the channel, please hit the like button, hit the bell, subscribe. I can't wait to see you guys again and I'll catch you in the next one.